it's something that I'm I'm trying to do outside of footy in a way. I'm trying to let people know that it's okay just to talk to someone because you never know what someone someone else has gone through outside of the bubble that we live in. A lot of people that play sport and especially rugby league are meant to be these big tough you know, dudes that, that aren't meant to show emotion or aren't meant to cry or aren't meant to feel any weakness either and that's how we get brought up. So I feel like it's very important to sort of like just slowly break that down as rugby league players especially and, and make sure that we talk to each other and, and open up and show a bit of like be vulnerable to each other and, and make sure that we understand that it's that it's alright to to let your mate and, and, and your coach or you know your water runner even know that you you're not feeling so great and that they've got someone there that's um, Obviously not a family member, but sees them every day and, and cares about them, so that's really important. I've had a little bit of struggle um, growing up. There's obviously been little things in my life that have affected me um, and, you know, made me a certain way or feel a certain way, as, as is everyone else. But um, for me, I've always had a really strong family base around me. Um, I've got two, two, two younger sisters that sort of look up to me and need me to, to sort of be strong for them in a way. And, and obviously my mum's a single mum too, so I've always had to keep a strong frame of mind for her even, even when I'm not feeling that great. Um, obviously got in a fair amount of trouble back in the NRL and um, there was times for weeks and months even that um, I felt very weak mentally and, and was struggling with it, but just put on a brave face and, and didn't open up to anyone. It sort of took the point where I got in trouble that I finally went and got help. Um, I finally just went in and just was able to speak to someone and, and they were just sitting there and listening. And, um, you know, it was just great to, to finally, it felt like the weight of the world fell off my shoulders in a way because you see yourself in a newspaper on the news and, and people are talking about you in a certain manner or a certain way that isn't true or isn't fully correct and, and you sit at home and you beat yourself up about it and then you obviously you look at your phone and, and social media is a massive, you know, it's a massive reason why people kill themselves these days because of, Anyone can sit behind a screen and, and write whatever they want and have no repercussions about it, especially as an athlete. You, you're very easily targeted for, for very minor things. So I was sitting at home and beating myself up a little bit about that and it just took for me to put my hand up and, and ring someone and go, look, I need some help. Will you be able to help me? And I went and spoke my mind and they sort of spoke back and we put things in place. So, yeah, you know, I've obviously been in some, a bad place before, but you come out the other end and life's not that bad. Once we as a collective um, appreciate the fact that it's okay to, to, to be upset sometimes and to actually you know, cry if you have to and, and little things like that that a lot of men aren't supposed to do, um, I think people start to realise that um, there's something, something that can be done because at the moment we, we're seeing too many people and I've seen it through my uh, sporting career in particular, I've, two of my mates have, have left us because of the pressures and, and things involved in sport and not being able to speak up and, and ask for help or just let us know that they're struggling with their footy and, and things like that. So yeah, we definitely need to speak up as, as men and, and really um, you know, break the cycle.